Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna talk about the updates that are about to come. So some pretty exciting stuff, some stuff that are not presented in the update announcement and uh, some comments on the side, so let's go. Well, it starts with this message, salute commanders, the server will go offline for maintenance and update, you will not be able to log in, blah blah blah, well basically that's uh, pretty standard. So, the first thing that we are greeted with is New mount, Nemesis, has been added to the Void Rift. New features, background fight and friendly face-off are also being introduced in the near future. Not to mention various optimization including higher faction trial challenge efficiency and larger artifact storage. Okay, so let's take it uh, one by one. Let's see the Void Rift. Added mount, Nemesis to Void Rift. Nemesis skill, so this is very interesting here, so this mount is going to have a skill, there is a chance to immediately clear the stage that allows auto fight. So this is a pretty interesting mechanic, so if the stage allows auto fight, if you've, completed and if you've completed the stage and you can auto fight it, that means that you can instantly complete it and move to the next, there is a chance for that to happen. So that's an interesting mechanic, that's going to save some players time and I'm very very pleased to the fact that they aren't just introducing these mounts as a means to being more um, aesthetic but just also to have a use, so that's pretty pretty nice. How you are able to collect it, commanders can now collect shards in Void Rift Nightmare to activate Mount Nemesis, so if you fight in void rift nightmare uh, you will be able to collect some shards that are going to be acting exactly like a normal shard summon i assume and we'll be able to collect the mount skin after we collect all the shards necessary okay cool cool i really like this one i think it's going to be a nice addition to the game i'm pretty pretty excited about this and pretty excited about the fact that we can actually skip some um, some stages um, and save some time while doing Void Rift especially now since Nightmare Void Rift can provide more resources and is one of the main sources of um, meteorite or not meteorite of um, artifacts or exclusive artifacts so yeah this is this is pretty cool Background fight, a feature that is about to arrive. So, uh, background fight is expected to be launched on 12th of March. So we will get a notification via email uh, when it's going to launch. If this time is adjusted, justice, blah blah blah. Okay. So requirements: clear campaign stage, normal 8/4 to unlock. So that's what the requirement is for newer players, maybe. Um, but this very important line, while background fight is on, commanders have the freedom to carry out most other tasks in the game with the exception of entering other battles. So this is a little bit of a bummer because that means that you can, for example, place um, background fight order for, let's say, 25 or 30 gear rate 3 fights, right? So you can exit that and do what? You can't do killed boss, you can't do faction trial, you can't do tide, uh, you can't do campaign. So what can you do? Well, what you can do is actually roam around in the gallery, in the heroes tab, upgrade heroes, um, quick upgrade, um, sell some gear. So I guess that's going to be useful. Because let's say you want to do some gear cleansing and you could do that while having some more gear being farmed in the background. So yes, this is a nice addition to the game, I think, but I really, really think that they will have to optimize this in such a way that maybe two fights are able to be um, played at the same time, one in the background and one in uh, in uh, a live mean okay in yeah in a live uh, manner so um, 
If the game starts running in the system background, the background fight pauses temporarily. It will resume as soon as you return to the game. Okay, fair enough. The third one is the friendly face-off. Now, this is a really interesting one. I know for some it's not going to be such a big addition, but I think this is quite exciting. And it sounds something like this. Friendly face-off is expected to be launched on 12th of March and we will be notified. The requirements are to clear campaign stage hard 514 to unlock. That's a little bit higher of a requirement for so newer players, like very new players won't be able to do that right off the bat. And friendly face-off can only be initiated between friends and guild members. So you'll be able to use this uh, friendly face-off only against people that you have in your friend list and people that you are, um, are in the same guild with. So by tapping your friends or guild members avatars and selecting friendly face-off, you can choose to have a friendly face-off in arena mode or guild war mode and your defense and offense teams will mirror those teams you set for the corresponding mode. So I think this is quite interesting, not because of the pure novelty of it, because you can just face off against your friends and compare your, uh, I don't know, lay lo your layouts and uh, your heroes and I don't know, um, have a little bit of friendly competition. But it, I think this is going to be useful, for example, as a pure training for some stuff so for example if you and one of your fellow guildmates decides to let's say uh, optimize your um, arena team for single target dps well you can try to gather some teams and set those up i think i would assume right so you don't have to actually hoard a bunch of arena token or arena permits you can just maybe edit your layout play on arena so it saves and then i don't know let's uh, you can tweak it around in in a friendly face off so this uh, this is going to be interesting i'm curious uh, as to how it's going to play out if it's going to be useful in that uh, in that way if we are being if we'll be able to tweak some stuff around while facing off our friends and uh, especially, I think this is this will be especially valuable for um, a Guild War fanatics. Why? Because the exact same reason. If we will be able to actually uh, test our defenses in Guild War by facing off friends, um, that's going to be quite interesting to see how it plays out. So, and some top-level guilds may use this feature in order to optimize their defenses. And this is going to be pretty interesting to see. The next is Faction Trial. So, uh, challenge chances will not be consumed for the first clearance. So, let's say you are heading towards stage 9, towards the purple Hyperion Insignias. Um, if you complete it, it, the chance will not be consumed. So, that's pretty nice. To save the time required for commanders to obtain all rewards for cleared stages, they can only be challenged one time per day. The total amount of rewards will remain the same. So, now what does that mean? It means that... Uh, does this mean that maybe they will reduce the amount of chances from 3 to 1, but improve the amount of resources? I'm not quite sure. Let me, let me know in the comments below what do you think about this one, because I can't make sense of it. If they are reducing the amount of, of the chances for uh, for clearing the stage, this is going to be quite interesting and quite a time saver for sure. But I'm interesting to see how it plays out, um, especially in considering the fact that you are able to clear a stage and not consume the chance. So. Yeah, that, that should be quite an interesting thing to look out for. Okay, uh, note, if you've already challenged Faction Trial before the update, regardless of your number of attempts, you will be recorded as having fully consumed all of your challenge, challenge chances once the update goes live, so please be aware. Okay, so do not challenge the Faction Trial until the update comes, comes on. Okay, Guild War. They've done some... some uh, 
Guild War Soldier or Demon Soldier Balance Adjustments. Uh, for those interested, they can just read it out loud here. Necromancer, they uh, increase the cooldown of Twisted Resurrection by one second, but they still reduce the initial cooldown by one second. So uh, that's that. There's that. Demon Captain Maw. Impalement now deals true damage based on attack. Okay. Demon Soldier score, Scourge. Scourge. Slightly reduced Scourge's HP and Demon Soldier Goalhound, slightly reduced Goalhound's attack. Fix the issue with the enemy targeting logic of Demon Soldier Murkling Melons. Okay, I didn't know that was an issue. Uh, and others, they increased the storage limit of artifacts, which, which, which was nice. I think this has been um, quite uh, demanded by the player base for a while now and it's nice they finally introduced it. Um, they have optimized the hero promotion feature where you can now view the promotion materials required by all grades at the same time. Quite cool. Optimize the gear ascent page by introducing filter and the display of secondary attributes. Nice. That's a decent small addition. Optimize the gear recast page by introducing filter. Alright. That should have been done from the beginning but better late than never. And heroes visit. More heroes will visit the camp now. I, okay, uh, if that was a problem, then that's resolved. Introduced new challenges, stage, new challenge stage requests, uh, new challenge stage quests. Okay, fine. Adjusted the difficulties of dispatch quests. Okay, well, the hero visit is nice and all, but for me specifically, it's just a uh, means to an end. I don't really read everything that's said out there. I've read a few stories there, but they are consistently the same so there's no point for me to pay much attention to that besides the small extra rewards that we're getting so fine uh, we're fine with that reward so yeah if that's uh, that's pretty much it there is an update re preview for the march update and there's also going to be this new immortal goddess boss called um, basically it's the boreas one the arbiter of frost it comes in a weird uh, time frame because, uh, as I've heard, um, they've introduced on the Foreigner server some pretty, let's say, interesting, um, interesting um, alteration to alterations to Boreas's kit. So many people call those a nerf. It's most definitely a nerf. Um, I'll probably make a video about it uh, in the future, but. Fastidious already made one that's pretty self-explanatory and uh, he talked about it quite well. If you want you can check out his video. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do it as well, but it's pretty bad guys. I mean, I have Boreas, I don't have him A1 or A2, whatever, but it still it helped me quite a lot. He definitely needed a buff, but Boreas is going to be basically got it almost. So we'll see how that plays out. I don't appreciate the way they've handled it in the, at least in the message presented on the Forerunner server. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be another for another discussion for another video. So yeah, most probably these images have already been um, presented to you while I was talking. Uh, there's also going to be so, a new legendary uh, hero time limited fusion with uh, Crowdor. Um, commanders who complete various events in this period will be able to earn uh, Gogran, who can be fused into the epic hero Draga over in the hero fusion tab. From there, Draga can then be fused into the brand new legendary North Throne hero Crowdor. So, Crowdor is a Northerner defender. Um, and he might be good for Guild War as a defender, but I still need to check him out a little bit more. So maybe I'll make a video about him if you guys uh, feel like uh, you would like to know some more information. Uh, make sure to let me know in the comments below actually, if you would like to see a, a guide or some more information video, an informative video on Crowder. Uh, but uh, until then, uh, I think this is it. Um, this has been Andy, uh, Immort uh, Event Horizon Gaming. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. I read every single comment that I see. Bye bye.